on this episode of China Uncensored, a polarizing issue. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Now, you just know a giant shopping mall in a communist-ish country has got to be something special. And the Grandview Mall in Guangzhou is no exception. It has everything. A movie theater, indoor ice skating, and as the Guangzhou Travel Guide puts it, all these lovely background music. But that's not all. There's also the Grandview Mall Ocean World, an aquatic wonderland, or as one person on TripAdvisor calls it, a mall with the most disgusting zoo in the world. And the star attraction is the saddest polar bear in all of China. Now you might be thinking, what in the name of all that is holy is wrong with that bear? Well, it's because he lives in a shopping mall. There's not even any snow in his cage, and he has to deal with people banging on the glass to take photos of him. Someone should give him a Coca-Cola. That footage comes from Animals Asia, a Hong Kong-based animal rights charity. They're trying to get the exhibition shut down. And so far, they've gotten around 300,000 people to sign a petition for just that. Because it's not just a sad polar bear. There's also six young beluga whales, five walrus calves, a wolf, and arctic foxes. And all of them are equally sad and living in equally terrible conditions. I mean, seriously, this little guy ought to be kept in cleaner conditions. Of course, my favorite state-run party mouthpiece, The Global Times, wrote an article specifically to counter all of these accusations of cruelty. And, as you might guess, they interviewed the aquarium manager, who also denies all the claims. Local media, however, reported that the Guangzhou Ocean and Fishery Bureau investigated and discovered that some animals died while being moved into the aquarium. This is by no means an isolated incident. Quote-unquote zoos in China don't always put animal welfare as a top priority. Monkeys and a bear racing on bicycles? What could go wrong? Wait for it. I mean, who could have seen that coming? And besides general animal cruelty, there's specific animal cruelty you can get in on. Like feeding a live sheep to a tiger. So is this a systemic thing? Well, probably not. According to Peter Lee, Humane Society International's China expert, there's nothing cultural or traditional about animal abuse in China. The problem is that animal welfare laws in China are few and far between. And where they do exist, enforcement is pretty lax. So this kind of stuff that PETA shows here can happen. Fortunately, as Animals Asia puts it, what is clear is that a significant section of Chinese society will not accept this. So what do you think about the saddest polar bear in China? Leave your comments below. And if you'd like to actually do something about it, I've put a link to the Animals Asia petition in the description below. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time. The most racist thing you'll see on YouTube today, probably. Pokemon Go with Chinese characteristics. <laughs>